In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to read Kindle books on a Chromebook. So, if you don't have an actual Kindle e-reader, and you want to read Kindle books on your Chromebook, this is how you can do it. There's actually a Kindle app on the Google Play Store that you can install on your Chromebook, and that makes reading Kindle books really easy. Once the app's installed and set up, you can even read books while you're offline if you want to. So. The first thing you need to do is open up the Google Play Store to install the Kindle app. So the Play Store should probably be somewhere on this bottom bar here. If it's not, you might just need to click on the circle here and find it somewhere in here, but it should probably be here. So to me, we'll click on it here. And now once you're in here, you'll just need to click up in the search box here and search for Kindle and press enter. And now this app here, Amazon Kindle, should pop up at the top here. And you just need to click on install and wait for the app to download and install. It should take under a minute. So to me, I'll just sit here and watch that. And now once it's installed, you just need to click on the open button here and the Kindle app will open. And you might want to click on this button to make it take up the whole screen. So now you'll be in the Kindle app, but you won't be signed into your account. And you can't actually read anything if you're not signed in. So it's a bit strange that it doesn't prompt you to sign in. But anyway, to sign into your account, you'll just need to click on more down here. And then up the top here, click sign in with Amazon. And now you just need to sign in with your Amazon account. You probably already have one. If you don't have one, you can click create a new account and create one, but you probably do have one. So Timmy's just going to sign in with Timmy's Amazon account and see you on the next screen. And now once you've signed in, you're pretty much ready to start reading. If you already have books in your Amazon library, you can just click down here on library and all your books will show up here, but they won't be downloaded yet. And you have to download them in order to read them. And if you want to read them offline, you'll have to download them in advance. So if you want to read a book right now, or you're planning to read a book offline is soon, you need to come in here to library and click on the book you want to download. So if you wanted to download or read this one, you would click on this one. And now it will start downloading, as you can see there. And books don't take up very much space, so it's already downloaded in that short amount of time. And now we're ready to read it. So if you wanted to read it offline, you could now go offline and go wherever you were going to read it and click on it and read it. Or if you wanted to read it right now, you would just click on it a second time here. And now the book will open. So because Timmy has never read this book before, it's taken Timmy to the very first page. But if you had read this book before, it would probably take you to where you had last left off, which can be really handy. And now you're basically ready to start reading. So once you're in here and you're reading, to turn to the next page, you just need to click with your mouse over in the very far right hand corner. So don't click in the middle, that'll do something else, which to me will show you soon. Click right over to the right over here. So somewhere like this and just click like that. And now we'll be on the second page. Or if you ever do this by accident or something, and want to go back to the page you're on before, you would just click over on the far left and it will turn back to that page. So that's how you can turn pages with a mouse or trackpad. But if your Chromebook has a touch screen, you can actually just reach out and swipe the pages across with your finger if you want. So if your Chromebook has a touch screen, you might prefer to do that. So that's really cool. And now if you click or tap in the middle of the page, like Timmy was talking about before, 
it will give you a whole lot of options for the book. So up here you have the option to search for something, which you wouldn't do too often in a book, but it's there if you want to. You can bookmark the page if you want, although as Timmy said before, it will automatically take you back to where you last left off. So bookmarking isn't super important, but if you wanted to, you could. And something you might want to do is click on this small and large A here, that icon, and it will bring up a whole lot of options to adjust how you read the book. So to me won't bore you with all the settings, but if you want to change the font or the size or the layout or themes or anything about how you read the book, you would do it in this menu. So as you can see, you can change the size here, click on something like that and make the text really big if you want. You could change fonts, you can change layouts, themes, and a few other things in here, which to me won't go into in a lot of detail. But if you want to change anything, just click on that large and small A and bring up this menu and you probably find a setting for it in here. And then once you're happy with the settings and you want to get out of this, you can just click off of it onto the book and you'll be back into the book. And now two more things you could do. If you click in the middle here, you can also click on chapters up here, that button. And now you can scroll down and see all the different chapters. So if you specifically just wanted to come in here and read a certain chapter of the book, you could scroll down and click on maybe chapter 13 and it would take you straight to chapter 13, ready to read chapter 13. So that can be quite handy. And if you want, when you have clicked in the middle of the page here to bring it up like this, you can click on this grid button in the bottom left hand corner and it will show you all the pages as a grid. So if you wanted to skim down a bit and go to this page, you could scroll down here and click there. Probably not the most useful feature, but if you ever wanted to do that, you could. And now when you're done with reading the book and you want to go back out for now, you can again click in the middle of the page and click on this back arrow up the top left here. And now we're back into library. So that's really cool. And if you want to come back to this book and finish reading it in the future, you would just come into library here and click on it and it would go to the page where you left off. Or if you wanted to read or download a different book, you would just click on it once to download it and then click on a second, click on it a second time to open it and read it. And that's all there is to that. But if you want to find a new book to read, so a book that's not in your library, there are actually two ways you can go about doing that. If you come and click on the Discover tab down here, you'll see a whole lot of different books that you can scroll through and you can search for a specific book up here or you can scroll right to the bottom here and sort by category and things like that. But Unfortunately, you can't actually purchase a book from within here. So if you manage to find a free book or you have a subscription that lets you read certain books for free, you can add those books to your library from in here. But if you don't, you'll have to go onto the Amazon website. So for example, Timmy's an Amazon Prime member. So if Timmy clicks on the Prime Reading button here, it will show to me a whole lot of books that Timmy can read for free with Timmy's Prime membership. All the different subscriptions can vary by country, so this might not be quite the same for you. But if you do find a book that you can read for free, all you have to do is click on it. So if Timmy wanted to read this one, Timmy would just click on it and then click Add to Library here. And now it says Added to Library. And now Timmy can click back on library. And as you can see, it's appeared here. So that's really cool if you can read a free book and it's really easy to do in the app. But if you have to pay for the book you want to read, 
you'll have to open up Google Chrome and go to amazon.com or whatever Amazon you use in your country. And then you'll just need to find the book you want to read on Amazon. So you could search for it or you could go through the categories or anything like that. And a lot of them are available in different formats, some of which they will post to you. But if you make sure it's set to Kindle here, so it's the Kindle version, you would then just need to click buy now with one click. And you'll see it says here, deliver to your Kindle library. So you would just click the buy now with one click button. And as long as you're signed into your Amazon account, you would immediately buy the book and it would appear in your Kindle library in the app, just like when we added other books. And that's pretty much all there is to it. But one last thing Timmy wants to show you is if you have a lot of books in your library and they're starting to take up too much storage space on your Chromebook, you can actually undownload some of the books you've read to free up some space. They'll still be in your library and you'll still be able to download them again later if you ever want to read them again. But if you need to free up some space on your Chromebook, all you need to do is find a downloaded book that you've finished reading or you no longer want to have downloaded and click and hold on it for about a second. So just click down and wait for the tick to appear and then you can let go. And you can select multiple if you want by just clicking on others. And now click on the three dots up here and click remove download. And now those books that Timmy selected will be undownloaded. So they'll no longer take up any space on your Chromebook but you can always download them again if you want them. But that's all there is to reading Kindle books on a Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and Tim will see you in the next one.